Denver, Colorado. He's here with his wife, Sue. They have three girls, Jillian, Shannon, Grace, and Cassidy. He was always known as a tough, strict, disciplined coach. We're delighted for induction into the Long Island Metropolitan Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Please welcome Richie B. Traveling vans on the way back 
Vinnie for Series and Remembrance Hall of Fame, it wasn't uncommon for Vinnie to run to and from practice. Those were the type of kids that we had to do big. And I was extremely proud of them. <laughs> and, uh, hey, hey, and Upper Division University uh, was ranked ninth in the country in, in 1982. I was, I've been carried up here on the, uh, on the shoulders of great men. My coaches, the, the, uh, my friends, guys who are here in the audience, uh, the assistant coaches that I've had an honor to work with, they're all better than me. John Thomas at the University of, uh, of Maryland is doing a great job. John F.B. and Brian Matthews are here. I work as an assistant coach for Brian Matthews, John S.B., Jack Emmer, and Louis Scott. I didn't have an opportunity not to be successful. Jim Amon's been mentioned several times tonight. I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to start mentioning names. I have to men mention Coach Amon. He's been a friend of mine for 40 years. There's other guys in this room that have been friends of mine for 40 years, that have supported me, that have been standing next to me. My friends from Mediola High School, uh, we went to war as kids. And throughout our lives, we supported each other through and through. I worked at the United States Naval Academy. I, I had the honor to work at West Point. When I worked at West Point, every single day, I drove from, uh, from the ODIA building to Mikey Stadium for practice. Jack Emmer's not here. On the way up to practice, there's a statue nestled in, in the uh, in the woods at West Point, and it says, the lives and destinies of valiant Americans are entrusted to your skill and leadership. And I can assure everybody here, the game changed in New York City on, on, December, on uh, September 11, 2001, but in places like Blue Creek, Dam Neck, in places like San Diego, Coronado, and Fort Benning, cell phones, beepers were going off, and the vanguard of your country went to war. And the men that I've coached for the last 15, 17 years at Navy have gone to war. They, they endured deployments for five, six, seven months, and they were ready to come home. They were told they had to stay for two more, and they performed professionally. They've been, they've been hurled off the decks of pitching aircraft carriers in the middle of the night to fly into danger to protect our country. I've got young men that play for me that led Marines in combat in Fallujah, that have been awarded the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, and the Navy Cross. I've got men that play for me, and some of the men are in this room, are actually U.S. Navy SEALs. And they've been in, in the uh, news lately, you just don't know their names. So I've been brought up here Everything that it says in this piece of paper about me, I've been brought up here on the backs and shoulders of great men. That's the essence. something that was really good. 
They gave me everything I needed, and they taught me to earn everything I wanted. Um, so I'd like to remember that tonight. And the other person, Lieutenant Brendan Looney. Blake Arnold, I appreciate you mentioning Jimmy Regan. Brendan Looney was a U.S. Navy SEAL. He lost his life uh, 21 September 2010. He was going home the next day. His beds were packed. His troop, his men were waiting for him. He chose to get on an, uh, a helicopter to make sure that a Navy lacrosse player who was relieving him was okay going into his first mission. He was killed in a helicopter crash. Brendan Looney was a better man than me. He was a better son than me. He was a better husband than me. He was a better brother than me. And given the opportunity, he would have been a better father than me. And he, in his name, and in the name of all the young men that I have coached, that have defended this country, I humbly accept this award. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.